The family of a woman shot and killed by a Pettis County deputy says they will keep fighting for justice even after a special prosecutor announced no charges for the deputy involved. Hannah Pfizer died in June after being pulled over. The officer says she told him she had a gun, but in the investigation, no gun was found. 41 Action reporter Andres Gutierrez talked with her family about this decision. The decision not to file any charges in the death of Hannah Pfizer came a day after the three-month anniversary of the young woman's death. Her family and supporters say that they are disappointed but not surprised by that decision. She wasn't no angel, but she was my angel. There isn't a day that goes by that John Pfizer isn't heartbroken over the death of his only daughter, Hannah. I miss her horribly bad. The pain even deeper Monday when special prosecutor Steven Sokoloff released this report classifying the deadly shooting as justified. The report states a 25-year-old woman was uncooperative with the Pettis County Sheriff deputy who pulled her over back in June. She allegedly told that deputy she was recording him that she had a gun and would shoot him. But that's not the girl John knows. I don't know what happened that night in those few seconds, but whatever happened, you know, I, I don't want to think that he intensely did that, that he was just scared for a second. I don't know. And without any body or dash cams, the special prosecutor had to rely on security video from a nearby business. It seems like he, he gave an excuse and let him let him go. Hannah's cousin says despite this decision, her family isn't ready to give up. They're given all other kinds of options. He could have used uh, anything else but his gun. That definitely should have been a last resort in, in her situation. Supporters, just like the special prosecutor, believe the shooting was avoidable. I would like accountability for these officers when they decide to pull that weapon for it to be warranted for them to have to shoot somebody. Uh, they're talking about maybe they need more training. A point they'll continue to rally around in the weeks and months to come. You know, I hope this officer is at least no longer an officer. You know, at least, at least that. I hope that them days are over for him because he's not, <laughs> he's not very well trained. In Sedalia, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.